Revolution stood to the The thing about Robin Hood in period is number one, number one, there uh, were a lot more stories than just the whole gold narrow And many of the jests of Robin Hood don't have him sort of camping out in a wide place under the trees. He is a great lord who has built a great hall in the middle of Sherwood Forest, and he rules it as any duke or lord would, and he dispenses justice on what he sees as his land. So when someone comes through his property, who he feels has been wronged, then he kind of takes it upon himself to fix it. And in the medieval jests, uh, Robin is not a religious man. In fact, he's really kind of not fond of the church because most of the church, church would have trust. But he is very devoted to Our Lady, and anyone who asks something in Our Lady's name, he will usually grant. But if you forswear yourself on Our Lady, Robin is not terribly forgiving. And uh, the just Robin Hood includes the story of Robin Hood and the Beggar Knight. And uh, it, it goes okay for the knight and not so well for the bishop who's trying to defraud him. So. Speaking of outlaws, we prefer not to resort to highway robbery to pay our minstrels, but would rather rely on your good generosity. Are you enjoying these wonderful bars? <laughs>
My son was held to ransom, said the knight, and gave a sigh. My wealth is in my land, and I have little coin to buy. The abbot of St. Mary's Church agreed to lend the gold, but then demanded payment ere my harvest could be sold. My goods and gear are not enough to pay the full demand. Tomorrow I must pay four hundred pounds or lose my land. Fear not, my friend, said Robin Hood, and sent for his own store. The chest was brought in such a sum few men have seen before. He counted up four hundred pounds and gave it to the knight. Pay off your debt and save your land and put all things to right. Sing hey for the hind and the hound and the hare, sing hi for the summer and spring. King Ho for the life of the very green wood where Robin Hood is king. <laughs> the abbot of St. Mary's Church was riding through the wood, and who should he encounter but the outlaw Robin Hood? As with the knights, the abbot was invited to a feast, and that is said, old Robin asked for payments from the priest. The abbot slightly said, you must agree. What a little money I may have is spent in charity. I swear it by Our Lady, I have no great store in the gold. My hoppers hold but twenty marks to feed the poor and cold. If that be true, said Robin Hood, no penny shall I touch. And if you have a need for more, I'll let you twice as much. The abbot hugged his covers, but the outlaw broke them wide. And Robin counted out eight hundred pounds and more beside. Sing hey for the hind and the hound and the hare, sing hi for the summer and spring. Sing ho oh, for the life of the merry green wood where Robin Hood is king. On a day the night, no longer beggar, came to call. A splendid palfrey to the gates of Robin's Hall. Good Robin said the knight, you are a gentleman well met, and I have here four hundred pounds to pay my rightful debt. Your riches you may keep unto the knight, said Robin Hood. Use it with my gramercy to do your people good. Our lady has repaid your debt and twice as much again. For she believes as I do in the worth of honest men. Sing hey for the hind and the hound and the hare, sing hi for the summer and spring. Sing ho oh, for the life of the merry green wood where Robin Hood is king. Sing hey for the hind and the hound and the hare, sing hi for the summer and spring. Sing ho oh, for the life of the merry green wood where Robin Hood is king.